Now at six, a school slavery scandal. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. A parent says students were tied up and told to lie on the floor while their teachers acted as slave ship captains. CBS 2's Michelle Geely is live in Cerritos where this happened. Michelle. That's right, and this is a part of uh, some of the eighth grade history classes here at this prestigious high school behind me. At least it has been for the past 10 years or so. It's also part of curriculum that is shared across the country, but it's not going to happen, we understand, here at this school anymore. It's, it's, it's loose tape. It's not duct tape. It's not um, tied really tight, you know. It's very loose just to give some sort of similar experience to the say everything. Whitney High School junior Timothy Reyes had his hands taped together and was a part of a slave ship reenactment when he was an eighth grader on the Cerritos campus. A mother complained recently after getting this email from her son's teacher explaining the quote unique classroom activity which was to be a surprise. Staff would act as slave ship captains the email described and the children slaves. After lining the kids up, the note said they'd use masking tape to tie their wrists together, make them lay on the ground, and in a dark room, have them watch a clip from the film Roots. Did you know this was going on? I did not. La Monica Bryson, a Whitney High English teacher, agrees with the decision to pull the activity from campus, which students tell me was announced today. You know, I think that there are other ways to teach tolerance. And I think that there are maybe even better ways and best practices to broach these types of sensitive topics. Some students agree. No, you definitely do not need to pretend to be a slave, but it was just another like hands-on experiment that was used to help simulate slavery, but it's definitely not an effective way. There's better alternatives than that. We, we did reach out to the mother who pulled her son from this exercise, and we also attempted to contact the superintendent here, but we have not heard back from either one of them. Live in Cerritos, back to you.